What's up everyone, if you're thinking about getting the CISSP cert or even currently studying for it, then stick around because I'm going to show you the resources that I used to study and basically kind of what I did in order to pass the second time around. So let's just get into it. But first, let me go over the change that ISC2 actually made it this past April. They did change the exam a little bit, went from having the exam go to 125 to 175 questions for a maximum of four hours to changing that to 100 to 150 for a maximum of three hours. And this was an effect that they made this past April 15th, I believe. And they also changed the weight um on some of the domains i think it was only like a one percent change or something like that but let's start with the resources all right pretty much the main resources that you need to study from is the official study guide that they have uh, which is this one right here and i'll provide the links below you can get them on amazon and it comes in a bundle it comes with this official practice test uh, booklet which pretty much has a whole bunch of practice tests or questions that you could go through while you're studying for this exam. Now, aside from those books, I also use this app from ISC2 called Learn Z CISSP. I'll also post that link down below, but it's just a mobile app that you can use to study a whole bunch of different questions and practice tests as well. Special mentions to this other book, it's called The 11th Hour, and I know that's a pretty popular resource that a lot of people use. Um, for me, myself, uh, at the point that I was already at before my second try on this test, it didn't really do much for me, but it could help you out. You're supposed to use it kind of like the day before or read it the day before. It's a pretty quick read. I'll also post that link down below. Now I'm going to go over how to use these books, how to use the official study guide or what I did. You just got to just read it, <laughs> just read it word for word, uh, front to back, page for page, side to side. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry. That's probably not what you wanted to hear. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that's it. End of video. Nah, but in all seriousness, this type of test is not really a test that you can just, for, for most people anyway, you can't just bang out practice questions after practice questions, you know, and remember those hoping to pass the CISSP. This is really not that type of test. Anything and everything in this book um, is fair game in the test. It is the official study guide. Uh, which is why I said this is pretty much all you need information wise to get. And also what you could do with this book is if you actually register it, then you'll get access to the online version of all the practice tests and the, the questions as well. If you don't feel like, you know, using this little uh, official practice test booklet, you can get all of that online once you register the book. Aside from all that, I'm going to tell you what I did a couple of weeks before the test that kind of just leveled up, I think, my understanding and my preparation to pass this exam. So every at the end of every domain in this book, there's something called uh, exam essentials, which is kind of like the summaries and stuff like that um, of the actual domain. And I'm like, hmm, there's a reason why they have this specific page of exam essentials, right? I'm like, th this is probably the most important things to kind of like pay attention to. And if you register the book, you get the audio version of that page. So I'm like, man, this definitely is, is important to look at. So what I did is I listened to that audio version and it's pretty much reading it word for word. Um, but I listened to it and while I listened to it, I wrote down things that I really didn't understand or that I forgot about. And then I went back and, you know, just looked those up, kind of uh, reread them, um, write my own notes on, on those concepts or topics. And I think that that got me even more prepared than and more confident than I was already. Exam essentials page after every domain. Now let's get into the other resource, the Learn Z app. 
it basically just has a whole bunch more extra practice tests and practice questions that, you know, you can go through on the go, whether it's, you know, if it's you're taking a walk, um, you're taking a break, you're being a passenger princess or something like that, or fellas, if you're taking that hour long shit, you know, what I'm talking about like study on the go <laughs> pretty much, which mm. I may need to take one myself now, honestly. Be right back. One hour later. Now, here are some tips during your studying journey. Find what your learning style is. So I'm a tactile learner, which means uh, I need to make sure that I take, you know, frequent breaks, frequent but short breaks. I do better with in-class demonstrations, you know, a lot of hands-on training and stuff like that, hands-on experience. So that's how I learn best. So figure out, you know, what type of learner you are and see what type of things that you need to change around or um, type of techniques that you need to add on in, in your study. Another one is use a lot of mnemonics or acronyms or processes because there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot of acronyms in cybersecurity and mnemonics definitely help me out. But Kevin, how do I know when I'm ready to test? Well, just use the practice test from the exam bundle and also use the practice exams from the Learn Z app and kind of gauge it that way. If you're getting at least 80 to 90% scores on those practice tests, then you're probably as ready as you can be. If you stuck this long in the video, I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe and also share this to somebody that's studying or wants to get the CISSP as well. Hopefully this information can help them and help you. Also, if you have passed the CISSP, comment down below um, if you have any tips to study for it or anything like that. The CISSP is no joke and this cert can be life changing for a lot of people. So I know you can do it. You got this. Don't give up post any questions down below that you may have. In the meantime, mommy out.